Hi guys. My hair looks crazy. Braids are just comfy and my hair doesn't get tangled and this looks weird though. Anyway, hey guys, I'm back. Let me make sure I don't have anything in my teeth. I'm literally drinking out of a hospital cup. It's literally been a month since I've uploaded a video and I'm kind of sad, but I'm really happy and excited that I'm filming again. I'm doing a haul today and I'm really excited. I went shopping a little bit after stores opened back up and like the mall opened back up and everything. It was kind of weird. Like I wore a mask and everything and it was just really weird. Found such cute things and obviously you can't try it on in the store. And I was like, I don't know if I should get stuff because like I can't turn it on. And I just got stuff because I was like, okay, I can return it, whatever. And every single thing fit really well and like looks really good i'm so happy with everything i got but i guess i should explain why i haven't been <laughs> posting videos okay basically about a month ago i got sick and i was just like not feeling well sick for like a week and then i got better for like three days ish i was feeling fine and then i was getting like really bad headaches and my neck hurt and yeah I don't even know like I was just not feeling good and I was feeling dizzy and stuff and I went to the walk-in all they did was test me for coronavirus and that was it and they just kind of sent me on my way and then I was still not feeling good and then five days later I got the results back and it was negative I didn't have the virus and then a couple days later I was still not feeling good so I went back to the walk-in and my heart rate was like really really high it was like 140 which is like really high it started to go I was really anxious on top of it so that it made my heart rate worse but like it started to go down so they were like normally if it's above 130 we have to tell the er but yours is going down kind of so it's up to you and they just kind of they tested me for strep and mono i didn't have either of those and they were just kind of like we can prescribe you with like um an antibiotic and that's it we can't really test you for anything else so i ended up going to the er like right after that because i just really was not feeling good my heart was fucking like racing and i just Wet. my head hurt i just was so not good and then i went to the er they tested me for stuff like right took my blood everything my urine all that and then they basically thought that i could have meningitis i did a ct that day and then i they tried to do a spinal tap that day and they failed it was really really painful and it was painful basically they because they said my spine was like a little curvy and I guess he couldn't find the right spot and it just hurt really bad. And then I spent like four days in the hospital. I did the spinal tap one day. They, I did another CT scan. I did an MRI and the spinal tap. I did it another time, but they did it like with a x-ray. That shit hurt so bad. Um, it was not fun. And I was panicking because there was a fucking needle in my back. Then I had to lay in bed for six hours after that. I couldn't move at all. Like I had to lay flat because there was like, they took fluid out of my spine. They didn't have, tell me I had to do that beforehand. They did not inform me of that, so it's fine though. But I did an MRI that night. Everything came back clear, but the MRI, they found fluid in my jaw. So basically, I had an infection in my jaw that caused TMJ or like is caused by TMJ. I don't know. I, I'm like, it's kind of confusing, but basically I had an infection in my jaw and my jaw's like messed up. I literally like didn't even know this was a thing. And I looked up all the symptoms afterwards and literally i have like all of them neck pain dizziness headaches shoulder pain jaw i didn't even think about my jaw when i went to the hospital like telling them about it because my jaw has like been like popping and like not in the right place for like years which is probably bad but like it's been like that like it's been it cracks it whatever and i didn't even like think about it because i'm like used to it and they call it they like called me when I was in the hospital, the doctor like called and was like, do you have like, is your jaw popping? Or like, is it, do you, is it like cracking or anything? I'm like, I was like, yeah. She's like, okay, yeah, you have TMJ, which I'm really happy they figured out what I had. Cause I was freaking out. Sorry, this turned into a long story. Just skip ahead if you want to watch the haul. I don't know. I was like really freaking out. I'm really grateful that they found out what it was and I'm really happy that I'm okay. Like it sounds so cliche, but I'm so like fucking happy and grateful that I'm alive because I like I was just so scared because I didn't know what was wrong with me. Like I'm like, I have no clue what's wrong with me. And they were like, I had headaches and stuff, which was like, I don't know. I was just, I was scared. I was scared. And then the way they were talking to me about things and having to do the spinal tap and like wait for that in the hospital and just everything. I was, I like.
like cried a lot was panicking a lot and had really bad anxiety and was really scared but yeah so they gave me antibiotics for the infection and i just finished taking them yesterday and i feel a lot better but not like a hundred percent i did like a bunch of research on it and said it could take up to like a month or two to actually like the pain like tmj i don't know to like go away it's like a joint Thing. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's, it definitely has like gotten better. I just try to like arrest my jaw. Just talking like this much probably doesn't help, but um, I still have neck pain kinda and like my head hurts a little bit sometimes, but I'm just praying that I get fully better soon and that I'm healthy and okay. And yeah, I don't know. That's, I just wanna tell you guys where I was at. I fucking shaved my legs today for the first time in like a month and they were, my hair was so fucking long and now my legs are smooth so that feels great and I feel better and I'm really happy. But anyway, let's get into the haul. I really could have made my bed before I filmed but why would I ever? First thing that I got are these Crocs. They're pink. Oh, also I have a, bru I have a bruise on my arm from when I was in the hospital so it looks like a sword. I got these Crocs off of Amazon, my favorite color and they're super cute and I really like them. I have white ones that I also have. I have white ones that I also have. I have white ones as well. I love them. They're so comfortable and like you can wear them all the time. I'm gonna have to try all this on after. <laughs> First thing we'll start off with is I got this dress. $30 I think. Yep. $29.99. No, if I should get it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking do it. And if I don't like it, I can return it. And it's actually so fucking cute. It's black, obviously. It has like very subtle stripes. Oh, you can kind of see that, yeah. And it's really fucking cute. It's really cute and it's really comfortable. The only weird thing is like the top is like, like there's nothing, it's just see-through. And there's like this little, you see that? How you can like see through it? So like I have to wear a bra with it because if not, you can just like see my whole boob. Like that lands right where the nipple is, you know? So like you just see that through the Oh, I also got from Forever 21 this bra I'm wearing. It's just a pink bralette. It's really fucking cute. And then I got this shirt, which was $7.99. And it's just a white tank top. Basic and cute. It's really thick, too. It's, like, good material, which is surprising. The last thing I got I'm really fucking excited about. I have this whole look. I'll show you at the end. Well, I guess I can kind of I can show you now. I don't know. I'll show you at the end. Okay, I'll show you at the end. I'm just indecisive okay i'm sorry but this whole look that i bought that all goes together and it's so cute oh my god it's literally like the most you just have to wait and see it's this beach wrap swim cover up and it was 12.99 and this is like the perfect pink color it's so fucking cute and it's like bro what the f this this it's cute it's really cute you like wrap it around your waist like that and it talks fucking cute. I didn't even know I got this much stuff at Forever 21. What the fake? These are hairy because I wore these already, but I got these biker shorts. And they are a little bit see-through, but I don't care because I didn't care. And then it's Hollister. I got this bikini. The thread is pulling already. I haven't even worn it yet. It was 40% off swimwear. Yeah, it was 40% off swimwear. So got this. Black. They like go up, which I really like. I like the look of like when they go up and then the butt is like a little bit cheeky because if I don't get cheeky I realize it looks like I'm wearing a fucking diaper and that's not cute so cheeky and then I got this top which is really cute and it's just like a basic top but I really wanted like a good black swimsuit and like this black bikini with the beach cover up cute and then I also randomly bought underwear which I honestly kind of forgot I got these these are peaches, right? What are these? Yeah, they're peaches. Peach underwear. And then tie-dye underwear. These look big. Oh, I got a large. What the fuck did I get? I should, probably should have got a medium. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> this isn't even a thong. This one's a thong. I don't... Why did I not get it? thong? I don't know, but anyway. Then I went to PacSun and I got some really cute stuff. This first thing I got is probably yeah, the, my yeah, favorite thing that yeah, I got in yeah, this entire yeah. haul. It's this fucking tank top that's cropped and tie-dyed. Look at the colors. And then it has a Playboy bunny on the front. Can you see that? And like rhinestones. It is so cute and it's so soft. It's like the softest stretchy material. Bro, this shit is like insanely cute. I'm very happy with it. Moving on. Got this shirt, which is Brandy Melville. And it's like stretchy. It's not as soft and stretchy as the tank top. Kind of more stiff, but it is stretchy. This is like tight. I don't know. I got like big shoulders and like I'm not an extra extra small, you know? So it is tight, but it's really cute. And it was only, it was $18. I saw this girl in there wearing it in pink and I really wanted it in pink. It was so cute. 
but they didn't have pink. It is like this, it's most, most mostly the sleeves that are really tight. I'm trying to become more comfortable with my body, so I'm wearing more crop tops. Now this last thing that I got is so cute. This is the last piece of the the vibe. I got this fucking bucket hat. It's pink tie dye, and then it says Playboy on the front. I don't fucking care about playboy like i don't it was just really cute and i had to get it because of the pink tie-dye like are you joking bro imagine me just i do have a big ass head so it's like kind of small for my head let me just disclaimer i have a big ass fucking head so it is kind of small i feel like they need to make sized bucket hats because this shit is like small but we're just gonna get past that okay see how small it is but like that is so Look like that. Okay, anyway, imagine me just chilling on the beach with this small bucket hat on my head in my black bikini with this beach wrap swim cover up thing wrapped around my fucking waist. That is like cute. That is cute. It literally matches perfectly. It's so fucking small. It's making me a little bit insecure about my big ass fucking head. Wow. That's everything I got in this haul. No, it's not. No, it is fucking not, bitch. Let me go get something else that I got that I'm so fucking excited for. Guys, I have never, I have never gotten a YouTuber's merch, like clothing. I'm so excited that I got this. I was like waiting for her to release more merch because all my favorite YouTubers don't have merch out right now. And she posted on her story that in like two days her merch was coming out. And I was like, I don't care what the fuck it is, what it looks like, I'm buying it. And I bought it. But I got Emma Chamberlain's merch. I'm so happy. This shit was $50. It was $40 plus $10 shipping. $10 shipping. A little pricey on the shipping, but I I guess I get it. I guess. Her fucking logo is so cute. Her This is like her stuffed animal she had when she was little. And then it has the name on the back. Biggie Big. And it's like the perfect shade of blue. And it's so soft. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh god, there's people walking. Oh god, they're gonna look at me. Oh god, I'm uncomfortable. I just got super uncomfy super fast and I scratched my face. This is like a vibe too. And now I just need the rest of my favorite YouTubers to make merch so I can buy it. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. It keeps falling off. I got the cutest stuff. I have the cutest stuff. And I'm so happy. I'm so excited to wear it. Very happy. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed my haul. It looks like I'm doing one of those things where, like, the pe person behind you has their arms, like, doing it. That's weird. See you guys soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>